We've got more breaking news this afternoon. We're going to talk about the heat wave in a minute, but first, cops in Davis think they have identified the woman who does not know her name. You'll remember she showed up in somebody's backyard back in May. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us at 4 o'clock. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Heather Jansen broke this story, and she joins us live now in Davis. Heather. Yeah, we just learned this woman is a missing 46 year old woman from Southern California. Now, you may remember seeing her photo all over our newscast just last month as law enforcement tried to figure out who she was as she suffered from severe amnesia. She didn't know details about herself, like her name, where she came from. Now, finally, after being flooded with tips, police say they have finally figured out one that added up this morning. They matched her to a photo from family and other markings on her body. Police say they're just thrilled to finally put a name to a face. Well, especially for someone who's, you know, kind of lost, isolated, um, and doesn't have that support structure, we can return him back to family and friends where she will. Well, at one point, police thought they might have to turn to DNA to try and identify her when none of these tips were adding up. Coming up at 5, we're digging in a little bit more into where she's headed next, what happens next in this investigation. We'll have that coming up at 5 o'clock. And Heather, before we let you go, do we know where she's from? Do we know how she ended up in Davis in that backyard? Yeah, a lot of those details are still uh, to be determined at this point. I'm told it's all still under investigation. There is no criminal activity suspected at this point. So that's why a lot of those details aren't coming out as now this is being treated like a medical issue. Well, we do have a lot of questions, but yeah, we do know there are privacy concerns involving medical situations. And so we're just so glad somebody's come forward to identify this woman who had no idea what her name was. All right, Heather, thank you very much.